Washington Public Library. I'm here at the library in a little room by myself. I'm ready to do a little strum along story time today. Coming to you from Treaty 6 territory, homeland of the Métis, I'm very glad to be with you today. Today's song is How Much Is the Doggy in the Window? Check out this book. Someone has written a very cute book and the someone is Isa. Isa Trapani has written this book about how much the dog in the window is and they have written all kinds of interesting verses about a little boy saving his money up to buy that doggy in the window. Now we may not be familiar with all of those words, but we definitely know some other words for that song. And this song has some chords in it. Let's see if you can see my chord sheet. Very fancy, look, we're gonna pan in. Ooh, look at the chords we get to use in this song. All right, so in How Much Is That Doggy in the Window, we're gonna play a C chord. Remember C is the third fret and the first string. Awesome. The second chord is a little fancy. We have a C sharp diminished. So on the fourth string, first fret, third string, second fret, first string, second fret. Doesn't that sound pretty? This is kind of a passing chord. So that means that sometimes we play this just real quick before we move on to the G7. So G7 is a triangle shape. It has the second string first fret, and then we have the first string second fret and the third string second fret. That's this one, the green G7. So when I'm talking about a passing chord, that means that this C sharp diminished, often it's just right before the G7. So that means we can do a tricky thing. You can just skip it. If it's too fast, go ahead and skip that pink. Um, C sharp diminished, but if you can play it, just one quick strum before you move on to the G7. So we go C sharp diminished, G7. Think about it. Maybe you want to try and challenge yourself. We have one more chord on here. Um, it's the D minor 7. It's this blue one. It's only in the introduction to the song, but let's play it. So D minor 7 has where are we? Second string, first fret, third and fourth string, second fret, and the first string, third fret. It's kind of complicated. Again, you can skip it. <laughs> we don't mind. So the introduction to the song goes like this. It goes C, C sharp diminished, and D minor seven, and then G seven. Now, how do we strum for how much is that doggy in the window? Let's think about how the song goes. How much is that doggy in the window? Kind of bouncy, hey? How much is that doggy in the window? So we could just strum up and down. quarters so I could go you can just practice the strum a little bit down down up down up down down up down up or down triple it that's okay down down up down 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 up down 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 up down I'm just muting this the strings with my other hand down down up down Sometimes when I practice drums, I just do this. How much is that doggy in the window? Because then it helps me learn the pattern of the strum. I'm just going to tip down a little bit more. Come over there. Let's try that. So let's try really slow the introduction. <coughs> so the introduction. Let's do this 
nice and slow. Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. Let's do this nice and slow. Extra fancy. Let's try on G7. How much? We're going how much is that dog in the window? Ooh. Bark, bark. <laughs> playing ukulele. I'm having fun playing ukulele with you. I will see you next time. Have a good day.